So today I'm going to take you through how to take moon photos with your Canon M50. And fortunately, as long as you get the settings right in camera, actually taking the photos is really, really easy. But if you don't get the settings right in the camera, it just turns out a white big blur of nothing. And the first time I saw moon photos online, I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. I want to take out the M50 and try to achieve those results. I went out, took some photos that looked absolutely terrible. So I've done a bit of research and I've tuned in the exact settings you need to put into the M50 to get the best quality moon photos. Now, the first thing we're going to do is on the top of the camera, we are going to turn the uh, dial to the M. Now, this is going to give us a manual photo mode, which means that we're going to put in all the settings ourselves. But don't be too afraid of this because the settings are very simple. We just put them in and we sort of leave them. Fortunately, because the moon looks pretty similar no matter where you are in the world, the settings will be pretty much identical no matter where you are taking a picture of the moon. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the camera on and we're going to put in all the settings we need to take the best possible moon photo. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the Q and we are going to go to the white balance. Now the white balance is here right now. It's just a little cloud set for a cloudy day, but we're going to hit that. We are going to go over to the K value. We're going to click the set and we're going to set that to 4000. Then we're going to hit the little arrow return to take us back to our menu, hit the little arrow again, back to our main screen. Now that we got the white balance set, we are gonna set the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO values. So here we can see our shutter speed is currently set for 1 60th of a second, and that's where we're gonna leave it, at 1 60th of a second. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the, set the aperture value. Right now it's set to F9. You just click on that, and you slide that over to F11 and then we hit the little return arrow. So we've got 1 60th of a second on the shutter speed and we've got F11 on the aperture. The ISO, now we are going to just select 100 and back out of that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the camera in manual focus mode. Now don't be too intimidated by this because this isn't like manually focusing a kid running around or some sort of action. The moon's going to stay right where it is, so we're just going to tune it in. Um, it's better than the autofocus because the autofocus can tend to struggle uh, with the moon. Now, you, you, you can try autofocus, see if that works for you, but I find generally it misses and you're better off to use manual focus. So to put the M50 into manual focus mode, we've got this little thing here that says AFMF. We just click on that. That's the little dial pushed to the right. See, it just put us into autofocus, so it was obviously in manual focus already from the shots I just took of the moon earlier. Uh, I'm going to click that again. Now it says manual focus. That lets me know that it is in manual focus. Now, when you get out there to take the picture, even if you've got a good telephoto lens, and I've got one on here that goes up to 200 millimeters, the moon is still going to be very small in the frame, which will make it very hard to actually tune in your manual focus. Now to overcome this and to be able to make sure the moon is in focus, the M50 gives us a pretty neat little tool and it's called a punch in focus assist. And where you see this little magnifying glass, all I'm gonna do is click on the magnifying glass and that has now punched in on the image. And you see here it says times five at the top of this little box. That means we are at a five times cropped in zoom. So you have the ability to see the, the moon should now fill most of the frame and you're able to use the manual focus to just tune right in. Now, once, you, once you've got it tuned in and you've um, got the moon in focus, you can back out of this mode just by hitting this little set and return arrow. Now, when you go into this mode, this little box below the times five actually shows you what area you're punched into. Now, there can be some situations where you bring it up and it's up in the corner like that, or it's in some strange spot. You just want to move it to the center of frame. That just makes it easier for you to find the moon. That doesn't mean you have to take a picture of the moon in center of frame. It just means that when we are sizing up the moon and using the manual focus to tune in the focus on the moon, we are using the center of the frame. It just makes it easier when you're looking through the viewfinder or looking on the display and lining up the moon with your camera to find what you're focusing on. Now we're just going to back out of that. And now we're ready to take our picture of the moon. Uh, 
quite clearly, we just push the shutter release. Now keep in mind, there's a couple things now as we take these pictures and review them. The first is sometimes you don't get the manual focus right on the first go. So I often will focus it in, take a couple shots, focus again, take a couple shots. And the other thing is because we're using 1 60th of a second and we likely have a reasonably long lens, like this one I'll be shooting at 200, sometimes the sort of camera shake or handshake can make the photo blurry. So you wanna just try to keep it as steady as possible and take a series of shots. Now, the shots that I've shown you there, I've actually taken by hand, but to take that uh, possibility of the camera shake out of it, you can obviously put it on a tripod, and ideally you probably would just put it on a tripod. Just keep in mind when you do use it on a tripod, you don't want to be pushing your finger and, and bumping the camera when you actually do the shutter release. The best thing to do there is actually put it into timer mode, self timer, put it on two second timer, push it, take your hands away, it'll take the picture and go back. But regardless of that, I suggest taking a series of photos to make sure you get a sharp one. I also suggest manually focusing, taking a shot, taking two or three shots, manually focus again, take two or three shots. The other thing you probably want to do, just depending on how bright the moon happens to be, is right here with your shutter speed, you can dial that up and down. So we started at 60, you might wanna try one at 50, even 40, and then you might wanna try it as high as say 125 and, and take a series of shots. But I've had the most success shooting at F11, 1 60th of a second and ISO 100. Anyways, I hope that helps. If you have any questions in regards to the M50 or taking photos of the moon, just leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you've got. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.